السلام عليكم ورحمة الله وبركاته. Yeah, name, state, and question, please first. So, uh, quite frankly, I didn't hear a thing that you said. So, if you can speak up and just help me understand, because it, you know, you started from somewhere that I cannot connect the dots. So, help me understand your question. Okay, in, in, in secular schools, what age group? If you refuse, refuse. I'm asking you, what age group? Uh, 15. 15 years old, how old are you? I'm 15 years old. Okay, 15 years old. So what is happening in the public school? What's happening? I saw people taking an uh, exam more serious than crazy. Pre uh, no, okay. And I saw people, um, sometimes the school does not let me pray. So the school do not allow you to pray? Yes, sometimes. Sometimes. Are you sure about that? If you Have you addressed them and saying you cannot prevent me from praying? You, did you take a, a letter from your local masjid uh, yes, showing them that Salah is mandatory and you cannot do that? I did and did in my detention. They they did what again? They give me a detection. What a detection! <laughs> uh, like you have to stay after school for fifteen minutes. All right. Uh, you see, I know. Uh, I can tell that you have a British accent. I know both in America and England. Uh, you know, the public school system cannot, uh, by law, prevent a student from observing his obligatory, uh, compulsory salah. So, I think your parents need to address this issue with the principal. They cannot, by law, I'm aware of that, in both countries and also Canada as well, by the way. So, you need to go about it officially. Give them a letter, get your parents involved, get your local imam involved. Go to him and ask him, can you help me? And that's what you should do, inshallah. Jazakallah khair. But you shouldn't accept that. You should not accept that. Barakallah fee. All right.